a real man? What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck are you talking about? Who the hell is Kiana, Tommy? Kiana who? Oh, you dumb now? You know who I'm talking about. I don't know no fucking Kiana, man. Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of Talking Sheep with Kiana J. I am your host, Kiana J. And we are here with another news break from allegedly Alexis. What you got for us, girl? <laughs> okay, so starting right out, uh, WNBA player Brittany Griner is reportedly living in horrid conditions in Russia. Um, the prison has homophobia, racism, and 16-hour work days. And not only that, her exact whereabouts are still unknown. Um, and they don't know how she's doing. They said Russia has two dozen supermax prison. They don't know if she is if she even has a bed. They know that she's in Mordovia, but she's been she has not been seen or heard from within her camp since she uh you know got sentenced and made the move to Mordovia um and she's so far served two years or excuse me two months into her nine year sentencing so they don't know where she's at over there I would be so terrified so I know I'm trying to figure out like ain't nobody trying to reduce the sentence or get her back or nothing they cause it for a week here uh I don't know I just feel like it's fucked up because if it would had been a male NBA player, I feel like they would have tried a little more harder to to get her help to get that person help. Mm. They just like left her out for the for for the Russians to deal with her. Yeah, like she could be over there being tortured and all type of stuff because of what's going on over there in Russia and Ukraine and. Right, and then she's from the United States, number one. She's a woman, and then she's a black woman. Like, and then she's they already uh deal with what did they say homophobia and racism. So she has to endure that plus sixteen hour work days, and who else knows what else she has to go through? So, Lord. um, now, huh? I just said, Lord. I know. I can't imagine if I was her sister or mother or cousin or, or anybody, like what they going through right now. Her family, All her right. wife or girlfriend, whoever she was. I don't know if it's her wife or her girlfriend, but still, like you go from being with this person every day to being this person being in jail in another country. Like, All right. That's crazy. Now, Cardi B says she, quote unquote, no lie has been feeling so hopeless trying to make her husband happy. She's trying to get him to smile. She says she she says deep down inside they hearts are heavy, but she says they doesn't want want any sympathy because they ain't no charity case. So she also cussed everybody out for giving their opinion on how she should feel, how they should go about whatever. And she says also randomly cries and he's trying to keep up with work and stay focused and distract his mind with certain stuff. And people is steady on a, you know, social media with negative stuff. And she said that she she says that she's not playing no games with anyone and she would de dead ass kill us for playing with her and them. So and a lot of people has been coming at her because they said right after she take off, off she promoting violence and all that type of stuff. She needs to get off social media. Yeah, that's what a lot of people saying too. Get off social media and tend to your husband and mm -hmm. let him grieve. Y'all grieve in private if y'all want to grieve in private, but everybody have a way of grieving. His best friend, his um partner, not well, one of his partners, his, like his uh, brother, cousin, his nephew or cousin, whoever cousin. he was, yes, died. He this man spent most of his life with this man. Mm -hmm. Before let she came home. Let him grieve in private. Let social mm -hmm. media go for a minute. Like grieving is is a process. Like people can't snap out of it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's what other people don't understand. Like this stuff, 
grieving, he might take a long time. You never know. You know, they yeah. on bad terms. It could be years. You know, they on bad terms at this time and stuff. So you gotta. That's on his conscience, you, know, you know. Because the thing I love Carly, don't get me wrong, I love Carly, but the thing what gets me about her, she let them social media comments get under her skin. Mm -hmm. And it ain't nothing but people that want these comments to get under your skin. And to see you act out the way you act out. And she giving them what they want. Just turn it off. She feeding into it. Mm -hmm. Turn it off. So. I mean, I feel like if, if I get you got to make money. So if you got a show coming up, awards, music, whatever, and you post for that, then that's different. But you just posting just to be posting when you could be tending to your husband instead of being in the comments worried about what other people are saying. And so a lot of people were saying that she's still, you know, promoting violence after takeoff death because she talked about she killing, she want to kill people. She was on Twitter going back and forth telling people this one girl, she, uh, her mama gonna die and she can't wait till her mama die and all type of crazy shit. Like, just stupid. Yeah. Okay, now Squid Game actor, Oh Young Soo. Who is 78 years old? If you've seen um Squid Game, he's the Korean actor. Mm -hmm. Has been indicted on sexual conduct charges in South Korea on Friday. He was the first South Korean to win a Golden Globe Award for his best supporting actor for his performance in a in a show. He allegedly touched a woman's body back in 2017, and they went in and died him right away. They didn't waste no time and sent him to a detention center or anything like that. And he's 78 years old. They don't care nothing about that. So it's, it's the old man. Coming back up. It's, it's the, the old man. The old Asian man. One of the men. <laughs> yes. 78 years old. He touched a woman's body back in 2017. How, it doesn't go into definition, you know, description on how he touched the woman's body and, and what part and all of that. But it's just, you know, he got money. He won millions and millions of dollars off of that. So, so they're going to find something for him to come up with. Mm -hmm. Maybe she'll settle. Probably so. so. If, she do, if she do, then you know it's all about money. Mm-hmm. So. Like that man was that mean two thousand seven three years ago he was seventy five he just want him a little feel. That's bad. They trying to Bill Cosby him. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay. Now Snoop Dogg's daughter Corey Broaddus got engaged over the weekend. His little chocolate daughter, his one and only daughter. Um, and he penned the sweet message and said the congratulations to her and his new son-in-law and that he loves him and her, you know, deeply. So that's sweet. I think I she don't see that old now. She she old enough to get married. Well, she's younger than me, so she's in her early twenties. But I think she got married before the boys, or if not, if I'm not mistaken, one of the boys is married. Oh, that's crazy. Mm. You know, whenever you little bitty kids. Yeah, some type of disease too. Some type of sickness. I'm not sure if it's let me I have to look it up. I'm not sure. I don't want to just put anything out there, but some type of illness. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the Virginia man who opened fire on multiple Walmart employees over the weekend. He left behind a manifesto note revealing he was harassed by the employees and someone, if not more than one of them, hacked his phone. Now, he begs God for forgiveness in the notes. He said that he did not plan this and he promised things just fell into place like he was led by the devil. He took the lives of five employees and... I'm not. He said some, one of his people that that was there. He stated how someone he thought was his friend or his best friend betrayed him and laughed at him. They even joked about him being like Jeffrey Dahmer, even though he would never drug someone and bring them back to his house like that. What color was he? Yes, he had a kill list. That he purchased the gun the he day. Was of. This color? Yeah, he was our color. Our color. Yes. 
Wow. A young a young guy too. And I believe he was the manager. He, he felt bad that he failed his management team. And he talked about um I he had a shot. kill list that and on a kill list it had the names of the of the employees and the shifts that they were working uh, I, I did this like my hand was white <laughs> yeah that's why i was like uh, you had to turn it back i'm trying to do the white side and the dark side <laughs> look he was this color <laughs> wow <Not this. laughs> yes yeah, so i mean it's, it's really unfortunate to say that that something like that had to happen but mental awareness, mental illness is real and you always need to be kind. You never know what somebody is going through. If you ain't got nothing nice to say, just don't say nothing at all because these I'm people these days is, 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 is don't have, they killing over a little over nothing. And obviously they went through his phone. They humiliated him. He said, so who knows if they had, if it was his friend and what they did know about him, who, what was in his phone that he probably didn't want to get out or whatever the case may be. Maybe been pictures. Be trying to pictures. tell me, folks, it don't take nothing to be nice to people. And Everybody it was more than one. Mean to folks. And it was more than one. He purposely had circled their names and the shifts they was working, and went and sought out those people to mm. shoot. Mm -hmm. So it's really sad. It's really unfortunate that it is even effed up on the on the family's part because, it's like, damn, my my child or my you know my whoever got killed because. They was harassing somebody. Uh -huh. You know, that's oh. So that's it's very sad on both ends. So, but mental illness is real, and bullying is real. They need to bullying be, is real. Need to quit bullying folks. Yes, and stop being mean to folks. Mm -hmm. But if you don't got nothing to positive, if you don't got nothing to say good. This world is just mean and selfish anyway. So. So wait to say it in a car or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now the U.S. Embassy warns darker skinned Americans that we may be profiled. And I'm saying we, because that's me. We may be profiled, um, detained in the Dominican Republic. So if you visit the Dominican Republic, be aware. A crackdown on Haitian immigrants has led Dominican Republic officials to approach anyone in the country who look who look to be of Haitian descent. This what means, is Haitian? What, what, what this means like? all person with melanated skin <laughs> are at risk of being confronted by police. Those who will be detained are locked in an overcrowded detention center with little to no access to food and restrooms. So I will not be going to the Dominican Republic. Well, all them girls go over there and get their bike done. Y'all better be careful. No. Won't be. Or they teeth done. Yeah. Or whatever. Wait. Where is Dr. Whatever that Dr. Montoyo? I think he in DR. I don't know. He in Colombia. He in Colombia. Mm -hmm. But yeah, still, I, you know, I know I ain't going over there too soon, so you ain't got to be worried about me being detained. But y'all, okay, need surgeries, be careful because they gonna lock y'all up in the first or just going over there just to have fun. You think mm -hmm. you're coming back and you gonna got locked up in there? What if they you go over there and you really from the United States and they say your passport ain't enough or something? Like, mm -hmm. I'd rather yeah. just know. Mm -mm. They just want a lot of black folks up. Russia got their girl over there. The many Republicans locking black people up. They want to. <laughs> they want to see what they can get for us. Everybody going back into slavery. Watch your team. Look. <laughs> That's why I'm they staying my, ass, my my. That's why I'm staying my melanated ass in the U.S. Man, look, so look. This is why I'm travel. This is why. You, and the stuff you get detained for the smallest stuff that you yep. don't be knowing and everything. Right? Yeah, because it's different rules everywhere. You can jaywalk and not ain't been and had to go to jail. Got you know that might be a ticket somewhere else, and somewhere else it might be a a, a you know jail time. So mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now and I'm very sad about this. Todd and Julie Chrisley. Will be facing prison time. 
Now, Todd Chrisley is 53. He was sentenced to 12 years. And his he wife. You got to meet somebody, girlfriend. Listen. He is 53 and he was sentenced to 12 years. And his wife, who was 57, was uh, sentenced to seven years in prison after it was revealed that they were submitting fake documents when applying for loans. Now, his male lover says that he is the one who turned them over to the FBI after the affair went south. The jealous score man, just like a jealous score yes. woman. Yes, he turned into a bitch. Yeah, really that is good. Like the husband, that's because he got that zestiness. Like that's because he got that zestiness in him. So he he was easy for him to turn womanish. But see, now, that's where, see, that's the prime example for me and Pillow talking with your side chick. Mm -hmm. Like he said, if I ain't gonna have my life back, you ain't need <laughs> Literally. Pillow talking with your side yeah, chick. You it, it was crazy. Hold on, let me finish getting to it. Now, the affair <laughs> took place in the early 2000s when both of the men were married to their wives at the time. They broke up after Todd threatened to call the police on him in 2012. He waited a decade later and went to the FBI, not the police, none of that, the FBI, and that's when everything hit the fan. He even took the stand at his trial, and that's when Chris, uh, Julie, and Todd knew that he found out that it was him who spilled the beans. They didn't know until he took the stand. That's like a booyah moment. Like he I probably, you, I, 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 he I, probably I, was I, like I, I, it, it, itching in his hands to do see this. See his face when he found out. Yes. Though. You should have seen. Yes. You should have seen the, the picture that they used when they. Oh my goodness. It was just. He was happy about it. Man. He was happy. And I yeah. love them. And I keep thinking about their kids because, you know, they had the, uh, the daughter. The 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 grass the grown daughter the little they was girl. extra rich then they was stealing yes <laughs> but it's the government they weren't stealing from people they were stealing from the government so that's different in my <laughs> eyes it's different than kicking down somebody dough and stealing no, or because somebody if they was credit black, cards they work, if they was like they got a worse sentence but. Well, the like prosecutors will shoot it for, I think, 21 years for him and I think 15, 12 years for Julie. Mm -hmm. And they basically almost, you know, cut it in half for them both. But that's still a long time. Seven years and that's still a long time. The prosecutors uh -huh. are old now. And I love them. And then what about his mom? Remember his old? Did you watch the show? No. Oh, I watch. Let me tell you, I watched pieces of it. I, I was like, I was, I was sitting here watching it because how she not know her husband is gay? I knew he was gay when I first seen him. Like, <laughs> I know, but I was trying to be like, he ain't like, gay. He ain't gay. He just talked like that. He just. A little no, baby. You know? No, honey. I think because I liked him, I was denying it. No. <laughs> but, well, he had an old mom and a, and they had custody of their grandkid too. Their grandkid is is biracial. Their son yeah. is on drugs. Yeah. Well, I hope that they serve their time. It goes by so fast for them and they stay safe in there because I like them. Yeah, now, he don't get his booty hole cracked again. Well, it'd be easy for him. <laughs> he, he, gonna he gonna tie that shirt up in the knot right here. <laughs> so. Okay, now Chris Brown's AMA tribute. Remember we talked about this last week. Mm -hmm. Now his tribute was allegedly canceled due to them not wanting a allegedly not wanting a convicted domestic abuser to honor an alleged child molester. Okay, now let me finish. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna quote it. It says, "But founder of 
Duck.news, Matthew Baloney says he knows the reason why and he's the one. Oh, like so turned on bathroom lights. He's the one who is somewhat behind the decision. Chris and the award show producers have been working on the tribute for weeks. The producers wanted Chris to perform at the awards to give him an opportunity to showcase his talents after Chris felt he had been shadow banned from the ho from Hollywood since the Me Too movement. Baloney claims that when he caught wind of Chris's Brown performance, he immediately contacted the higher ups at Disney. You hear me? Now, Baloney claims that when he called wind of Chris Brown's performance, he immediately contacted the higher ups at Disney and ABC about the optics of the performance. He says that the prospect of a convicted domestic abuser fetting an alleged child molester on a Disney network wasn't the best idea. The higher ups didn't even know about Chris's performance until Baloney called and told them. Once the executives found out about the performance, they immediately told the producers to cut the tribute as a whole. The producers were reportedly furious at the decision to ask the performance because they knew the backlash they would receive. But after calls with multiple executives through the company, they they decided that Chris could still perform, but he couldn't do the tribute because he it would be too radioactive. They tried to come up with an alternative plan, but Chris said it's all or nothing for him. Either he does the performance he planned on doing or he won't perform at all. So he didn't perform and posted the rehearsal footage on his Instagram page. So, so in conclusion, the network canceled Chris's MJ performance because they didn't want the blowback. Of two problematic of all, artists being mentioned on their bad. network. Two problematic be no artists bad. being mentioned on their network at the same time. It wasn't gonna be no blowback. Michael Jackson did the AMAs even after his accusation that he was not convicted for. Okay. Right. Uh Chris Brown, I think he did he do the AMAs after this. He situation? did the BET Awards and the BET Awards posted his tribute to Michael Jackson and said something like over here we celebrate greatness or something like that they came back and posted after you know all of this happened which is but see that's what they say about the white them uh I need something white that's the what white they say about them unseasoned people awards they don't mm -hmm. think they fair mm -hmm. and they only added more seasoned people to them so we so we can shut up mm-hmm and, and uh, Kelly Rowland came to his defense and said that everybody makes mistakes. We all fall, fall short. He should be given another chance. Jordan Sparks said that people deserve to be able to grow and learn and be able to live their life everybody without moves, things hanging over them. On. You know, everybody, everybody is gone. Even if moved on, and she the one that got her ass whooped. So, like, <laughs> what you say? I say like, even Rihanna moved on and she the one that got her ass whooped. Like right. And I'm pretty sure after that, that didn't stop her from putting her finger in the next man face. Man. I'm pretty sure she probably still muffed the man in the in the head or slapped him or, or something. Of course. I was you like, know, so that's her name. Right. Look. <laughs> Look. She poked him. She shouldn't have ran and did all of that. Man, look. I mean, she still that he did beat her bad, so uh, there's no excuse for domestic violence. But that right. was ten years ago, like. But I, 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 I strongly say, don't provoke a man either. Yeah, and be out here provoking a man. Sure. Now I'm a strong believer. Of teaching my boys, if they put their hands on, get them back. Shit, the fuck. Shouldn't put your hands on nobody, but I don't believe in domestic violence. But see, that's why I be like, you, you, I got a little sister and I got a daughter. Keep your my thing is keep your so, hands to yourself. Yes, <laughs> keep your hands to yourself. Now and you I, know, look, you know, little boy on TikTok where he's like, I'm just giving out life lessons. <laughs> he is going to learn to keep him hands to himself. Yeah. <laughs> You can defend yourself by pushing somebody away and and all that. He you ain't got to close fist somebody. Yeah, Sometimes that's true. He, he ain't got to he ain't got to bop upside of head. Like you know, 
it shut her eye and everything. Had it purple lip. Yeah, on. he ain't got the. But see that that be them drugs. Them people be on drugs. Man. That and he 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 grew up watching his mama get abused. How we know that wasn't a, a trigger for him to where he blacked out? You know. Uh, a lot of men that grow up in abusive home do grow up abusing their wives and girlfriends. See, because they think it, it's normal. Because right. if, the, yeah. if the mother don't leave, if the mother don't leave, they think it's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Now, August Asina announces he has a boyfriend on the show. I've seen that. On the show, The Surreal Life. He broke his silence and came out to the world. Another one went to the other side. Look, he always was a little zesty. But he came out to the world that he loves his partner and that he wants to show the world the person who loves him back and is teaching him things about love. Um, he said what one person might think love looks like or feels like is really you know really up to your description you know it, it's it's to each his own basically is what he was saying um he says love showed up but for him in a different way and i'm happy for him i'm happy for him too i'm just mad another foul went to the other side yes and his boyfriend is too yeah his boyfriend fine too i ain't gonna lie they both fine and they both went to the other side we his lose it. Looks like he he will be. We losing our black men by the big numbers. <laughs> well, his boyfriend not black, but his boyfriend looked like he would be get you know, gay. Yeah. Like August looked like it would be like hmm, but the boyfriend looked like he would be gay. To me. Yeah. Now, Jamarcus Johnson officially named as the fourth su suspect in Young Dolph's shooting. He is wanted for conspiracy to commit first degree murder. And he is the first. Uh, for, so they got the two boys in the beginning. And then they got the third person was the guy I was telling you about who daughter got killed. Mm -hmm. And then this is the fourth person. Mm -hmm. So ever since the they a lot of people are saying ever since that third person got caught up with one who daughter got shot up and killed he been singing like a bird because remember they had picked up yo Gotti's brother big brother it's always a snitch somewhere ain't it so <laughs> you get to that that time they they throw that time at you you get to singing like a canary mm -hmm. do canaries even sing i don't know, i think they do because you always say we that's the <laughs> saying I'm gonna Google it once I get off. <laughs> right. Well, I just said that. Yeah. I was talking a little bit, so you know, you get to thinking about stuff like that. Yeah, you know, I'm, I, if, you know, if we wasn't so high, I probably smoked too. I ain't even like to you, but I can't. We ain't in my budget, honey. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, you gotta really have a budget for it. And I don't have that. Not a slice of yeah. budget. <laughs> <laughs> now you gotta come back on down yonder i think so that was, yeah, <laughs> I, th I think so sure because baby i don't have a budget for that people spend like a hundred dollars a few days on this stuff no wait a minute i'm a drinker and a whole and see i don't week. drink a whole film last me two weeks i only drink on the weekend so oh no and that's only thirty dollars <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. Baby. I wouldn't, to me i wouldn't i wouldn't drink i don't really care sometimes i get in my mood i might want wine or something like that but yeah. I don't like, like today i'm a wine I, don't, I need a drink i had a long day today maybe if i did drink i wouldn't smoke so much no nah, you would because y'all we smoke no because i already be feeling good yeah you be feeling good no let them make you feel a different type of good like i feel like, like a, yeah <laughs> uh, now i used to smoke and i hit i hit a blunt every blue moon or something like that or eat some edibles the weed give you a different type of zone of vibe but i be yeah. tweaking like i, I, I be see. tweaking under that influence like dead ass tweaking <laughs> you don't need no no nothing strong you don't need no exotic <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah. it'd be all type of stuff. I'm already loony in the head, so imagine what actually going on up there when I'm happy. You don't need it. <laughs> nope. 
<laughs> don't need it. Right. <laughs> okay, now Odell Beckham Jr. was escorted off the flight from Miami for allegedly having unruly behavior. The football player was headed to L.A., and apparently he was in and out of consciousness and refused to put on his seatbelt. He refused to leave the plane because he didn't put on his seatbelt, and because he wasn't, he refused to leave the plane. They, the whole plane was deplaned, and the fight, flight was delayed. Now, after the incident took place, he took to Twitter to explain that he has never experienced nothing like this in his life. He don't know what happened to him, and he was just as shocked as everybody else. So with him being in and out of consciousness, I'm not sure if he had a game. Maybe that's probably why, and he probably was just woozy. And, you know, I don't know if he had a game or not. But he wouldn't have because he wouldn't have just be hopping. Yeah, no, he didn't have a game because he wouldn't be going from Miami to L.A. by himself like that, would he? Wouldn't he go with the whole team? Uh, yes, supposedly, but you know, because it is football players, season. But some players do like it depends on like yeah, maybe he has like, something to do and he had to f fly out for family. right because I remember um how I found out that some players they able they able to leave before another game is Dennis Rodman um, mm -hmm. when he had a game but he left to go to Vegas. To get his mind right and then come back and play the game. See, and if you think about it too, it was just Thanksgiving, so maybe he coming back from somewhere from Thanksgiving break. They might be on Thanksgiving break, and he. But that. But my thing is with these celebrities is like they feel they the rules don't apply to them. No, because everybody got off the plane and deplaned, and he just was escorted by police. If that was regular citizens like us, we would have got banned from the flight and everything. But he was gonna get a slap on the wrist and gone. Mm -hmm. and, my, and all you had to do was just put the seatbelt on, click, right? <laughs> click. They, the the flight attendant should have did it for him. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, get over here. <laughs> Your own. Right, sit down. Damn, just, hmm. just, just a few minutes. God, hmm. no, I, can't, I can't be a flight attendant because them people be cutting up on their plane. See, I'm not good. That wouldn't I'm even bother me. Person, it would... But I'm not a customer service people person. See, that was fine. <laughs> it would be being in the air too much for me. Yeah. Like, once we land, I want to get off and go home. And it don't work that way. Mm -hmm. so, mm -mm. Now, Balenciaga has been called out by Kanye West, Candace Otis, Owens, and a lot of other social media users, but not many celebs. Um, I'm not sure if you've seen, but they were called out for sexualizing children in their recent ad. They had the uh, little girl in the harness, in the harness, and all different type of sex stuff, and they took it down and apologized and said that whatever they said it wasn't nothing good but people are also calling out kim well candace owens and a lot of other social media users are calling out kim kardashian because you know she is the face of it and it took her six days to respond now they canceled Kyrie and canceled kanye in 30 minutes when he posted something but it took her six days to respond to Balenciaga and not only that she basically said that she was a mother and how outraged she was and uh they need to apologize but didn't say that she wasn't going to be supporting them anymore she's still going to be supporting them and rocking them out there I guarantee it unless so many people say stuff to her but I guarantee you it's going to be on keeping up with the Kardashians they're going to spin it and have it showed on keeping up with the Kardashians and drag it out like they how all go, how it's gonna go in her favor. Yeah, how yeah. How I, I, I just she's gonna be like, I don't know what to do. You know, I got kids that are so wrong. Let me call my right. lawyer so I can get out of this contract. It took us six days to do all right and you still said you but she don't she's tried so hard to be with the high-end fashions you know she got skims she don't want to look a certain way in the eyes of certain people so you know she's gonna shut up which is just sad mm -hmm. now media sinbad is learning how to walk 
uh, two years after having a stroke. According to NBC News, he had the stroke back in 2020, and the stroke caused him to have a blood clot that went from his heart out heart to his brain. Mm. His family says that after the initial surgery in 2020, he was able to talk and move, but did face some discomfort. He suffered from another blood clot almost immediately and had to undergo surgery all over again. Doctors mm. then told his family he was experiencing brain swelling. He came home a, a little a little after a year on July seventh, twenty twenty one. After nearly nine months, nine months, not a year, excuse me, nine months later, and he still receives therapy and is continuing to fight for every inch. Now his limbs were dead and they are coming alive, and he's taking steps necessary to learn how to walk again. And in his own words, he said he is not done and he will not stop fighting until he can walk across the stage again. And the family says that they will, you know, neither will them. Mm -hmm. So they said his progress is remarkable. And I agree because your limbs is dead. God has the final say so. I just told you your limbs was dead and now they're alive, you know. You couldn't walk and now you're starting to walk again. You know, you felt a little discomfort, but, you know. Mm-hmm. Slowly but surely, I hope he, you know, makes a full recovery and he can walk across the stage a few more times. Mm-hmm. You know, so get strong and do what he got to do. Yeah. Okay. And last but not least, Blair Underwood reveals he has uh, he's engaged to his friend of forty one years. He said that she's had his back since he before he even became an actor. Now, he was previously married to Denise Underwood for 27 years, and the two split last year, June of 2021. So, a little over a year later, not only is he with another woman, but he's engaged already. And people got mixed reviews saying that she waited her turn and it paid off, and some are saying she was probably creeping along with him. That's a long time to be waiting on the goddamn man. She was creeping man. all along with him. Right, she was probably creeping along all along with him. And was like, you said you're going to marry me. You said you're going to, you know, who knows? Because women will do it. And men will do it. Well, she did. She played her role like a champ. And that's the way a side chick is supposed to She's going out with a bang. He better leave <laughs> everything to her. Shoot. Shoot. She played her role like a champ. Right? Yes. She wasn't in no blogs. Or she wasn't trying to get out there and get fame and blast them. No. Nope. She was messing with that man on the side. She we'll see if his if his ex wife Denise come out and say if that's if infidelity led to the divorce because she's the one who filed for divorce. They they split up and then two min two months later, uh, she filed for divorce. Right. So who knows? If so she it out. probably did come out in in the household. Mm-hmm. You know. Because right. I don't believe he just married her and they wasn't having sex. Right, that's what I'm saying. Within a year already. Yeah, I don't she, believe that. He tapped that. In. He tapped how, that. How did she... man. I don't believe not too many men gonna marry a woman they ain't slept with. And right, and he talking about she had his back since before he, he became an actor. What did she have to have your back for if you had a wife? Right. So yeah. hmm. But that is all I have for allegedly Alexis. I know I went over my time. That's okay, girl. I ain't got no guests today, so you good. Oh. I'm like, Yana probably be like, girl, come on. Uh-uh. I got no guests today. My, my show ain't going to be that long anyway. <laughs> well, that is what I have for allegedly Alexis. All right. Thank you. I'll see you next week. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, but. I'm nope, I'm I'm going for tomorrow for my granddad. Oh yeah, the, uh, to praying for the family for Thank the you. funeral tomorrow. Yep, I'll see you Wednesday. All right, see you okay. Wednesday. Hi everybody. So, um, as I say, I ain't got no guests today. I just didn't feel like dealing with guests. Let me tell y'all, guests is a handful booking okay and i'm gonna tell you why um you book your guest and you confirm with your guest and then the day of guests don't show i just didn't feel like going through the motions this week uh <laughs> like this week has been a little whew, for me you know Bad bitches have bad days too, you know? 
you know, that's, that's me. You know, so that's what, you know, I had a little, a little week and a little day today, a little day, you know, so, but work with me. So I decided to do, bring it back to my original. I keep forgetting, like, when I, when I first started podcasting, before even started podcasting, we, I was just me talking to y'all. So uh, when I first started podcasting, it was just me talking to y'all so <laughs> i i forget about that like i really don't need guests all the time you know so it just be me talking to y'all so i decided to do yesterday i put up a i shared a post um uh if you loyal uh how long have your friendships been so i put uh friendship i had a long friendship 20 27 years relationship 13 years been single now for seven years my seven year thing got a bunch of inboxes okay the reason for the inboxes everybody's wondering how i was single for seven years now what y'all don't understand when people say they are single for a long period of time that does not mean we don't date that does not mean we do not have sex. That does not mean that, okay? I don't see why do people, when people say, oh, I've been in a relationship this long, it means I have not committed myself to somebody long term. That's what that means in seven years. I am not claiming anybody to be with. I am not with anybody. I am not, you know, together with anybody. Um, to, that's worthy enough for me to say that's my man. So that's what that means. But I do date. I have dated a few uh, people that didn't hold my attention long. Uh, people like, oh, you're single because people try to make you single in a way because you're single because your attitude. You're single because you your standards too high. You're single because single because I want to be fucking single right now. If I want to choose men, I can't choose a man. I have men that have blocked me because I will not get in a relationship with them. I can be in a relationship if I want to. I just choose not to be in any kind of relationship. So that <laughs> that's my thing. I was able to work on myself not to bow down to any and anybody that wants to be in a relationship with me. I I just feel like certain things um, that I see when we're dating um, at that time that I will not be able to tolerate, then I just will not, I will cut off the, uh, before we get to the relationship part, I will, you know, distance myself from you. Um, you my thing is, um, a lot of dudes don't put the pressure behind, they just want to be in a relationship with you and without no pressure behind nothing no effort and nothing and nothing no because we're not going to be in our relationship and you still doing that same stuff no we're not doing that if you want me to put pressure behind you you gotta put pressure behind me and i'm worth the pressure i'm gonna take right there like this i am for the pressure okay but you know y'all don't want to put the pressure behind it so i just feel like no but um yeah, seven years is a long time to be single, and um, it takes some time. I'm new to seven years. Um, it's kind of not new, but I'm kind of new to the day scene because I'm the girl that always had a boyfriend. Like, since I was 13, I was always in a relationship. Like, I get out of one and be in another one real quick. Like, back then, you get a boy, it was easy to get a boyfriend and y'all was in a relationship and stuff like that. It was just like, you hung out with a guy, you wouldn't have to sit every day. They say, you know, you boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, um, and and stuff. And uh, you had kids and that was that shit, <laughs> you know. But now I didn't know anything about dating. You know, um, until I moved my adult self to Milwaukee. After I got on my 13 year relationship, I went straight to Milwaukee. And I dated somebody for a long period of time 
I dated somebody for like six or seven months right after I got out of my 13 year relationship, but I didn't, he taught me of what I tell y'all now. If we don't say we in a relationship, we're not in a relationship. He taught me that because that nigga played the shit out of me. I ain't even gonna lie to you. <laughs> he played me like a motherfucking filler. You know, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm telling my truth. I ain't even scared. He played me like a motherfucking filler. But uh, <laughs> I was on a rebound from my relationship. I never knew how to date. And I just thought, you know, because we spent a lot of time together, he was doing everything. Um, a boyfriend was supposed to do or whatever, and I just assumed like we was together, but that nigga showed me we was not together. So <laughs> he taught me if you if I don't say if we don't say you're in a relationship, we're not in a relationship. So I always tell y'all that like now I learned I learned if you don't say you're in a relationship, if y'all don't have that conversation. You're not in a relationship. So in the last seven years, I never had that conversation with somebody. Um, again, like I said, I dated a few people. Um, and uh, like I said, the few people that wanted to be in a relationship with me, uh, they blocked me. They, they, uh, they blocked me. They don't talk to me. And it wasn't like we even fell out. It was just like, they like, I want to be with you. Ooh, and I just felt like, you know, some of the things that, you know, like one dude had a whole relationship with a whole other girl and don't tell me he wasn't in that relationship. And I knew he was in a relationship because the lie source who told me he was in that relationship is lying. She'll never lie to me. So I knew she was lying. I knew the girl she was talking about. And it was a story that he was married to. So it was just too much going around in the time we was dating. Like it was too early for me to be going through that in are dating and say so you think I want to get in a relationship with you and still going through that then you have the ones that tries to date me who tries to date my sister too <laughs> type shit like you know we go from inbox to inbox you know <laughs> like like we don't talk or the ones that try to you know do me and my friend like <laughs> go from inbox to inbox like it just it, it, it's crazy you know and they think that we don't be knowing and then you have the ones that just want to sleep with you you know you can weed those out you know um the ones that uh put you in the friend zone but only put you in the friend zone to try to sleep with you to say they slept with you to get for some for some reason People used to try to sleep with me just to say they slept with me, to get the props of saying they slept with me. I don't know why, but, you know, that, that was just, that's stupid, <laughs> you know, uh, but uh, people lies on their penises, you know, I've been lying on a few times, you know, uh, yeah, like, you know, and stuff like that, but me as a person like i don't have any bad vibes like everybody that i ever dated in my life not everybody most of the people that i ever dated or been in a relationship with or talked to i actually friends on my social media with me on facebook and it's crazy because y'all wouldn't even guess who these folks are <laughs> like these, I swear to God, like in my whole 42 years of life, most of the people that I have talked to, dated, or been in a relationship with are friends with me on here. <laughs> so I'm not a bad girlfriend or a bad person, you know, except for the ones that delete and block me because they had their feelings. They always come back about a year or two later, but that's neither here nor there, but... Uh, yeah, most of the people that I've dated, talked to, or been in relationship with friends with me on my social media, and it's crazy because y'all would never imagine some of the people I have conversated with or talked to or dated and things of that nature, y'all would be shocked 
you know, I'm not going to say names, so don't even think about me saying names. But, um, yeah, you'll be shocked of some of the folks that, you know, but. At the at the end of the day, me being single is a uh, I'm just weeding out um, my tolerization, and which is is different from when I was in my twenties, and it's different from when I was in my thirties. I'm in my forties now, so I'm looking. I'm not even really looking. <laughs> I'm just. At the point, you know, and I'll be honest, this last, these last few years, you know, my heart had belonged to somebody else. So I wasn't really into like really getting to know other people. But now that that is over and we weren't even re in a relationship, you know, we were just really like cool, 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 cool. But it didn't work out. So it was just like, OK, now I'm ready to get out here and date. But I just, the tolerance for, like, I'm just like, God, I just pray to God. I be like, God, you know, I give my list because Sierra did it. <laughs> Sierra did it and somebody else did it. Viola Davis, she did it. She said she she never prays to God before. And she said she prays to God and she gave God her list. And she said, when she get, she said when she met her husband, he was everything on her list. So with Sierra and Viola, God, um, I have a list. Now the list ain't that long, but So many people saying to her. Tom, can you hear me? Hello? Oh, back. Okay. <laughs> I got kicked out. <laughs> yes, I can hear you. And I noticed okay. you, you are back now. Okay. <laughs> can you hear and I'm not even, I didn't even look at my comments. Am I in, am I on live? Yeah, I'm live, okay? I You're still live. Oh, shoot. Okay, let me go to my comments. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all come back now. If y'all was in here, come back now. Let me go look at my comments. I need to look at my comments because the thing about it is uh, my iPad, I'm not using this, so I can't see my comments. So, Corey, hey, Kiana. Add me, I'm mad I missed this topic. And so many people sing because nobody trusts anybody, and it's a lot of selfishness going around. Yes, indeed, sister. Hey, Tay must be plenty of Asian guys. Tay I don't know what that means, but whatever. But yeah, um, to what Abby, Alexa, Alexa, turn on that on lights. To what okay, Ebony was saying, yes, it's a lot of selfishness. Alexa, turn on that on lights. Okay. So what Ebony said, it's a lot of selfishness out here. Um, people are very selfish when it comes to relationships. Nobody want to communicate, you know, and nobody. And I'm tired. You know what? I'm going to go here. A lot of you men got a lot of issues, you know. And y'all want women to fix these issues. <laughs> and y'all want women to baby y'all. And give you a oh poo poo, tooty tooty tooty, tink tink tink. You know, 
I have my own issues, you know, and it's a lot to manage yours and mine. And, you know, your kids may have issues. My kids may have issues. Everybody got issues. And, 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 and men, men sometimes give you the, if you're not there for them, then all the time that you're not worth being with them type of vibe you know, type stuff. And it's just like, <sighs> like, yeah, you know, and I'm there to be somebody's partner, but I can't be your therapist, your partner, your therapist, your, 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 um, everything, everything under the sun for you. You know what I'm saying? I have issues. I'm not, Everybody got issues, and me trying to work on my issues and your issues are uh, it's just like a lot of men that I talk to and deal with are really going through some issues, <laughs> and it's just like, and I, I I'm a supportive friend, I'm a supportive person. I'm yeah, you know, I stay well, you know, you know, I give them the you know, you know, the woo woo two two two, I love you type shit, you know. Or whatever, but it's 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 really um to the point of it gets tiring sometimes, you know, and it's like it's always about them. It's never about me, you know. What I'm saying it's never, you know, it's like y'all y'all call just to get me to sympathize or you know baby you or you know so it ain't oh how was your day let me come get you let me you know take you here let me ooh. no it's oh baby let me tell you what happened oh this and this and oh this and this and no oh, and i'm sitting on the phone like oh my god technically <laughs> you know but you know i want i it's it's okay to be vulnerable sometimes but when you do it all the time it, it starts to weigh down on the other person that's what i'm trying to say it starts to weigh down on, on the, the other person you know and i i'm the person so it's like yeah tell me your issues but don't do it every single time you talk. Like some days, you know, you want updates or you know what I'm saying, let's go out and do something. You got niggas that don't even want to go out and do nothing. Like I'm a homebody. What? I'm a intro. I'm a what? What is that? Introvert? Whatever the fuck that means. Like, <laughs> like, uh, you know, or. Shit, like it be, it's, it be a bunch of weird ass shit. <laughs> Let me go to the comments. Uh, only call Yeah, only call it with their issues, and when life goes good, you don't hear from them. Yeah, it, it, you know what, sister? Yeah, that's right. And and that's the crazy part. And that's why I've been single a lot. Most of the time, I've been single for seven years because I, it's like, and then another reason, for some reason, I only track most of the men I track be married. Like, do I give out side chick vibes? <laughs> like, like, I didn't think I gave off them type of vibes because I, I'm nobody's, you know, side chick. I'm trying to be somebody main chick. I'm not trying to be nobody's side chick. So you think. <laughs> You know, y'all be in whole relationships. I know people who like literally just walked across the altar with their wives and be hitting me up. Like literally just said, I I do and be hitting me up. Like, <laughs> like this shit be crazy as hell. Like, I don't understand. Comment. Uh, 
No, these niggas just be all happy and their marriage is looking for it out. And the crazy part about it, Ebony, when these niggas be all happy and their marriage is looking for out and then don't even get out. The side chick be looking stupid as hell because nigga will not believe his fucking wife. That 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 be crazy than motherfucking me. And I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? And Matt, I'm going to tell you this. A married man, now I see why you side chicks be motherfucking going hard for them niggas like y'all do because I'm going to tell you, a married man will take care of you like he ain't got no wife. I swear to God. <laughs> I had that off me the world. <laughs> man, like, come on, like, like, nigga, how you able to do, want to do all this, do all this, and still got a whole family at home to take care of? Man, I, I understand. I just can't bring myself to do it because I believe in karma like a motherfucker. I, I'm not one that believes like karma is a fat bitch and she'll sit on your ass so good and clean till you fucking die. You hear me? Till you can't breathe and die. So, I'm not the one to get involved in the middle of nobody's marriage. You know what I'm saying? Now, I might, I ain't gonna break up no home, but I might, you know, tell for an apartment or two. <laughs> so, I know that, but that's what I might do. <laughs> that is, you know, but, uh, yeah. Uh, another, that's another reason why I'm single, because... Marriage scares me. We talked about this the other day when I did a live. Marriage scares me. Uh, it's a lot of unhappy people out here in a marriage. It's a lot. And it scares me. You know, that's just what it is. So, um, but most of the time, <laughs> most of the time, uh, I work, I had to work on myself. I was fucked up. I didn't even lie to you. I'm not, I'm going to tell you. Let me tell you something, Okay. I ain't the one that say my relationship ended just to one people. He wasn't shit. You know, he was a cheater. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't shit. But I was crazy as hell, too. He made me crazy, but I got worse. I was crazy already, but I got worse. He made it worse. You know? So I started doing stupid shit. Like, hitting him with cars and shit. And all type of, you know? I was... I went Looney Tune, you know? I went, you know, crazy, you know? And... Uh, sometimes a relationship would do that to you. So when I got out of that, and then I jumped into the one in, uh, I jumped into the day situation I was telling y'all about earlier in Milwaukee, a nigga that played me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I had to work on me. I was like, you know what? Let me work on me. You know, that's a, let me see what's wrong with me. It gotta be. It got to be me. You know what I'm saying? That's why I had to look at me. I had to really look at me. And I, some of the things, yeah, I was little. You know, I had to take some of my family to tell me like, bitch, you a little nuts. So some friends tell me everything came. Again, I'm a person of everything. If everything don't go my way, you know, I cut something a little <laughs> So I had to, everything can't go your way, you know. And this, you know, I get that. I still get that to this day, you know. I'm a work, still a work in progress, you know. <laughs> but um, I calmed down a whole lot from the last relationship I was in. And I had to take a look at me. And that's why I was saying with other people, y'all jump from relationship to relationship. And don't sit and look. Now I know what I tolerate. That's why I'm single. I'm not tolerating a lot of this bullshit that's going on out here. Like, y'all ain't gonna be able to play me like I'm up there. Feel like I'm talking to a guy. I was talking to a guy now, and he kind of turned me off a little bit. Like, he like, I don't celebrate holidays. I don't get gifts. I don't do that shit. Everybody grown. Who? I like gifts. If I buy you a gift, I want a gift. I give gifts. Why you don't give gifts? I don't like that. I don't want to be in a relationship with nobody that don't want to buy me no gifts. <laughs> Y'all might think that's petty, but I want to give my significant other. <laughs> like, I want to feel, you know, sometimes again, I, I like gifting. I like words of affirmations. I like gifting. I like quality. I'll settle 
seven, is it seven or five? All five of the love language is me, me. <laughs> like for real talk, like I'm all of them. You can't go wrong because I'm all of them. <laughs> you can't go wrong with me, like for real. Y'all just don't understand. Uh, he's a Jehovah Witness. No, he ain't no Jehovah Witness. That's the crazy part. He ain't no Jehovah Witness. And every like every time he said, it, I be like, and he makes sure he says it. Like, and I be like, Nah, I don't think I can do this. Like, I don't. I just feel like you know, some men might come on here and be like, That's petty. That's petty. But I just feel like you should be able to give get gifts from your significant other, right? I wouldn't want to be in a relationship with him. Like that, that something like that would turn me off because it's just like you would buy me nothing. <laughs> like, what type of stuff is that? Like, no, like, no. I just so it's kind of I'm kind of like slowly moving away from that situation. <laughs> Like, yeah, this ain't gonna work. So it's it's it be things of that nature that just like I just know that I won't be able to deal with that I will cut off now. So later, if I decide to get in a relationship with you, uh we have an understanding. I'm I'm, I'm a person of asking questions early now. So yeah, we're gonna talk about a lot of things. We're gonna talk about how many kids you got, we're gonna talk about why you're not with the baby moms, we're gonna talk about um who you live with do you live with your mama or your mama live with you <laughs> we're gonna talk about baby mom drama we're gonna talk about have you ever been to jail for abuse or anything we're gonna talk about uh financials we're gonna talk about all that stuff we're gonna talk about everything because simple fact is i'm 42 years old and you think i'm gonna wait six months to get this information out of you no sir because by the time three months come, I'm going to know if I want to keep this going with you or not. That That's my thing. <laughs> like, so I'm getting all my questions out in the beginning. Like, uh, and, uh, and then I get them out in the beginning because you always catch a nigga in his lie. Because they forget what they tell you. <laughs> You know why I'm single. All y'all think y'all know why I'm single. Hey, uh, with me. all y'all think y'all know why I'm single. And y'all really don't know why I'm single. Y'all really don't. Y'all just assume <laughs> y'all know why I'm single. Y'all don't know why I'm single. Just because y'all my friends don't know, y'all don't know why I'm single. Like I said, if you was here earlier, I have men that I can be in a relationship with right now. They block me because I don't want to be in a relationship with them. But that ain't the point. <laughs> because I said I didn't want to be in a relationship with them. Period. So, you know, I, it is what it is. You know, some things, you know, that I just refuse to tolerate. That's it. Now, sure. I I just feel like men have their picks to choose the standards. Why can't we have our picks and choose? And they feel like we shouldn't have standards because, like, some of my friends to be like, y'all used up, y'all not had kids, your credit bad, and this, and credit ain't bad, but, you know what I'm saying, this and that, and all this other stuff, y'all got a list of why we have to settle for less. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, that is not true. Like, you know what I'm saying? We, just because we had our kids early and just because... We was in a race. I had a nigga on here say the other day, oh, you gave somebody 13 years of your life. He got the best of you. No, he got the worst of me because I was a total ass back then. You know what I'm saying? Then he had the nerve to say, no, he got the best of you physically. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> I look good, the fuck? No, he got the worst of me physically because I was 300 pounds back then. But see, that's what niggas be getting when they be fucking talk about the mouth. Like, no, nigga, I look way better than I did back then. I do now. I feel better now. So whoever gets me now getting a prize, because back then, they'd have been fucked up in the head fucking with me. I'm telling you, 
Like, so whoever gets me now get the best of me they gonna they gonna ever get. And that's the communicative Kiana. I communicate like a motherfucker. We gonna talk about it. Ain't no walking off. Ain't no uh we gonna we I'ma let you walk off and get your little air, but you gonna be back. And we're going to talk this out. We're going to talk about what made us feel some type of way and all that. You're going to get the community to the Kiana. You're going to get the funny Kiana because I'm actually a little bit funnier, funnier than I was back then. I was mean back then, you know? You know, you're going to get the um, fun Kiana because I like to have fun. I play jokes and tricks and and stuff. And, and we do TikToks and all that stuff, you know? You're going to get the cookie Kiana. I cook all the Every other day, not all the time, you know. <laughs> you know, I like to go out and have fun, you know. You know, you get this is the best me, and I'm way less than 300 pounds. So when he said that to me yesterday, it didn't it didn't bother me, but it was just the point of most men think like that. Like, oh, you gave another man your prime years of your life. No, I didn't. Mel was the worst years of my life. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't healed from childhood. I wasn't healed from the cheating he had was putting me through and all type of shit that was going on. I was horrible back then. I was terrible. My mind was terrible. My body was terrible. My inside was terrible. My face was terrible. My skin was breaking out. My neck was black. I had no edges. I was always cutting my hair off because I was going bald and shit. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. Now, you know, my, you know, I wear weeds, like my edge is coming in, you know, I lost the weight, you know. Uh, I'm out here living a good life, you know, getting living on my own, you know, paying baby to pay my own bills and all, all type of shit and, you know, go and leave us, please have fun, be on TikTok, doing cooking, cleaning. You know, just enjoy life. I'm in a, a a happier place now. And and the fact that men feel like some men, not all, some men feel like that your prime was fit with another man is not true. So that that's my thing, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with having standards, just don't be reaching for the for starts when your energy and coochie don't match. <laughs> Yes, I lost the weight. Shut up, Webby. Uh, your energy coochie don't match. Yeah, that's that's true. I, I agree with that. If you out here and your energy and coochie ain't matching, y'all wore out and stuff in, in between the legs, uh, I suggest, uh, no, I ain't gonna do that because let me tell you something. I ain't gonna do, I ain't even finna say that because let me tell you something. These hoes out here are being wiped up. Let me tell you, and they being wiped up by some some ballers and shot callers, twenty inch rims on a sh no. <laughs> Here you go. Shut up, Webby. I'm, I'm just being honest. Like y'all can't say these hoes ain't out here getting wiped up. They get wiped up quicker than the, the girls who ain't out here being hoes. That's that's the crazy part about it. Like. <laughs> And we out the ones that ain't been hoes. We out here trying, you know, thinking God gonna drop our men off in the living room because we ain't even leaving the house. We thinking he gonna drop our <laughs> oh, poor that came through the uh <laughs> poor that came through the uh YouTube talking about hot photos for of my sister because <laughs> they shut up and suck dick and eat burritos, right. But first you said they, oh, you ain't gonna find a man if you, your coochie don't match. But now, oh, because they shut up, fuck, suck dick and eat Doritos. See, that, that, see you contradicted yourself, Webbit. You contradicted yourself. That, 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 way, that way you get the, you contradicted yourself. Okay. Okay. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna keep going with the comments. Uh, okay, they blocked the, uh, the porn. They blocked the porn. <laughs> So um yeah, uh I I I went to the inbox yesterday 
And uh, he was, uh, somebody was like, dang, I don't believe you were single for seven years. And I was like, yeah, I was single for seven, I was single for seven years. And and they threw in there like, um, what, you didn't date or nothing? Why do people think, because you're single for so long, you didn't date? Don't get me wrong, I dated. And yeah, I ain't even had no sex. Now, this last year and a month, I've been without no uh, eggplant, you know, which uh, keeping my uh, my skin is not bumped up yet, but you know, um, and I, I'm, I think that's why I'm a little stressed a little bit, you know, and stuff. But last year and a half, I ain't had any. But I, I give a dab, did some, you know, some little dinglings. You know, in the seven years, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna sit on this app and lie to y'all. I am 42 years old. I am not gonna lie to say I had one, two, three partners. I'm not gonna do that to y'all. I am not gonna lie to y'all. I got three kids. All of them got the same daddy. <laughs> I am not gonna lie to y'all on this app. <laughs> okay. See, the thing about it is. The thing about it is, people want to be want well, people to think that they perfect. You know, uh, we are human. I'm a human being, and when I'm sexually active, I am sexually active, and that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? If I want something, I'm going to get it. If I want some penis, I'm going to call somebody and tell them. I want some. That's just what it is. I have a, you know, that's just how it goes. <laughs> you know, but I'm not going to sit here and lie to, I'm not blatantly listening to females lie about how many partners they have. And it's just like, first of all, people shouldn't ask you about your, how, how many partners you have because that's not their business. But second, secondly, um, we finna stop acting like we not out here fucking. We not, especially us that's been fucking in high school. Like, we ain't finna act like we ain't out here fucking. Like, stop it. Like, we, you know what I'm saying? Like, we gonna stop that. Like, we gonna normalize telling the truth about stuff when it's like, okay, I'm not saying put a number out there, but we're not gonna act like, you know, we grown as we grown as hell. We grown, you know. Most of us wasn't virgins. You weren't a virgin when you met your husband. You weren't a virgin when you met your wife. We 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 to stop acting like that. <laughs> that shit is not okay because you know. And like I said, this last year and a half, with my I had I had lost my dad and I moved and and you know I'm getting adjusted to this new life I have here in Memphis. You know, I have my sons here with me and then my nephew is here. So, you know, I'm we're getting adjusted to, you know, the life here. So it's just like, um, I'm about to get back out there and start dating. I haven't been out dating yet. So I'm about to do that. I keep saying I'm about to, but I'm actually going to do it. Right now, I am out without transportation. That's number one. I don't have a car. So I just, right now, me feeling like I don't have transportation is just kind of putting a halt to that. But um, I'm going to get back out here. So, you know, you never know. Because I thought somebody told me to pray to God. And um, he was going to send me my husband. So I was, I was praying, but nobody fell in the living room or the bedroom. So <laughs> I was, you know, trying to wait, you know, because another person said, oh, God don't send him to you. Just wait on him. So I was sitting here waiting like a dummy and nobody popped up. So I think I have to go outside. <laughs> Go out the door and you know, you know, go find my husband. So, uh, you know, so he can find me. You know, I knew my husband was not gonna be in Milwaukee. 
I knew my husband was not gonna be in Chicago. Well, so I said, let me repost up and see. Cause my dad did say um before he died, he wanted to see one of his girls get married. And I I just thought I told him it was it wasn't gonna be me. It wasn't gonna be me. But my sister did get married, so she did become a wife. Uh so I'm mad, I'm a little sad that he missed that. You know, but um, uh, we um, I'm trying to get 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 me together before I actually bring somebody else into my domain because I have a unique domain. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'm an empty nester, and sometimes I have a full nest. You know, like I think I wash the dishes. You finna wash the dishes? Okay. I think I figured. You took out the garbage, good nephew. Look at your comments. Look at my comments. Oh, okay. Big kids. We gotta reach out to our because we gotta take the whole thing apart. Says put it together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I got so I got my sons and my nephews here. <laughs> I got them put together my TV stand and they put it together wrong. I ain't even gonna argue with them because today I almost had to knock my younger son upside the head with one of the things and I broke it. <laughs> you know, so and, you know, nephew in there clean the kitchen. Thank you. You know, I'm raising some decent young men around here. You know, so I, I'm just, um, I, I'm, you know, like I said, sometimes I'm an empty nest, and sometimes there be me in the house. Sometimes I have a house full, like now. So, you know, I have a unique situation. I, I'm, I am a person of, if you have small kids, I want, like little bitty children, I won't date you because um, you probably still have a mama drama and, you know, the issues with, you know, you can't move around like you want to and stuff like that. Um, I'd rather your kids be over the age of 11 you know, 12, stuff like that. Uh, job is a must. <laughs> you know, house, car, you know. You know, I'm out of transportation for now, but I'm, that's not going to be for long. Uh, you know, stuff like that. Nice to people, you know. I need somebody that's nice to people because I'm nice to people, you know. Uh, I don't need somebody with attitude all the time, walking around, face all stressed up. Or like you mad at the world and everybody else in it, you know, them kind of guys don't match with me. You know what I'm saying? Need somebody funny. You have to have a sense of humor. Because I have a sense of humor. I think I'm funny. <laughs> you know, you got to be funny too. Like, we have to laugh. We have to joke. We have to talk about each other. We have to roast each other. We have to play tricks on each other. You know, we have to do stuff like that. We have to chase each other around the house. We have to, you know, throw the kids out the window sometimes, you know, together. You know, we're a team, you know. <laughs> we have to do stuff like that, you know. Do the things, you know, I want to do. A uh, person that believes in God. No matter, I cuss a lot. Yes, I do. But God is, God is my dude. That's my, that's my ace. You know, you got to believe in him. You know, I pay my tithes. I don't know about y'all, but hey, man, yeah, um, you have to be family oriented. Me and my family, we're close, <laughs> very close. <laughs> you know, family function, big, birthday parties, huge. <laughs> we do stuff like that. You know, last relationship was like, hey, he didn't come to none of the functions. <laughs> I'm not allowed at this time. You, you're part of the family. You get the family reunion t-shirt. <laughs> you come to Thanksgiving with my mom cook. Come on, we're getting on this road. Let's go. You know, we, we, birthday, oh, I said birthdays. Yes, I travel for birthdays. Yes, we're going. Yeah, we're doing that. Um, same, I do the same for you and your family. That's what we do. We're a bit, we're, me and my family are very close. Friends, we do friends. Friends, I, have male, I don't need somebody that's really jealous because I have male friends. Now, they're not around me all the time, but I do have them when I go into town to Milwaukee. I want to see my male friends. 
I want to introduce you to my male friends. I don't need you walking up to her. Who this nigga? I already told you he was before we got here. We ain't got time for this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's it. I have male friends. I have female friends. Uh, I shouldn't have to worry about you trying to flirt with my friends. I dated somebody who dated me just to get to my friend. Yeah. That happened to me too. Yeah. I don't, I, I, at least we know that you only want me and not the people around me. That's just... It's, that's just what like, you know. My list ain't that long, you know. It's just common sense shit. Like, uh, no cheating. I don't do the cheating, you know. Alexa, turn on that room light. Alexa, Alexa, turn on that room lights. Okay. I don't do cheating. Cheating is the first thing I have me out the door. <laughs> yeah, I'm not coming back after you cheat on me. That's it. <laughs> you are your own sir. That's it. Once we say we're in a relationship, <laughs> yeah, you cheat on me. I'm gone. We're not doing that. Uh, ain't no getting me back. Nope. Mm -mm. I'm putting a restraint out on your ass because I know you're going to pop up at my house. No. Give me a restraint on you. Come six feet of me. I'm going to blow your head off. Stay away from me. You cheat on me. It's over. You can walk away. I'm done. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, abuse. I don't take abuse. You put your hands on me. You never put your hands on nobody else. Uh, mental abuse. I don't take that either. Uh, you're gonna learn how to talk to me with some sis, just like you want me to talk to you. With, if you want me. You want me to be your piece. I want you to be my piece. You know what I'm saying? The list ain't extravagant. It's common sense. Then. You know, common sense. Com like stuff. This, this stuff. Stuff that's supposed to happen anyway in the relationship. You know what I'm saying? But Josh, for some reason, me and think that some of this stuff not supposed to happen in the relationship, but it's supposed. It really supposed to. You know, make a good relationship work. You know, uh, you have to communicate. That's something I'm not gonna bend on. I'm not gonna bend on not talking to me. <laughs> no, I'm a talker. We gonna talk. <laughs> we gonna talk about our issues, baby. Yeah, we gonna we gonna no, no. We gonna talk this out. You know what? What I do? How I make you feel? What did I? Because I see things differently. Women see things differently than men. So if y'all don't tell us what what we did to you and you just shut down, it ain't gonna never get fixed. And when y'all shut down, all I'm do is piss us off, and then we get in the mood that y'all don't want us to be in, and then that goes the bullshit. No, that ain't how this works. So communication, I I'm not gonna tolerate that. But I haven't found any none of things in one person yet. So that. that <laughs> That's that's that that's why I've been single for seven years. Seven years. Uh, you know, you don't put the pressure behind dating me. We're not gonna date long. You know, um, I'm not the type of girl that's we finna sit on the phone every day for three months and not do nothing. No, we're not doing that. Not doing that. No. We're gonna go out, we're gonna have a good time. I need to see you out of public, I need to see you in the daylight, I need to see you at the nighttime, I need to see you, I need to see you, I need to see you. And you know, and then don't don't let us be in a relationship because then I get a little clingy. I'll be wanting to talk to you and see you. So cool. Even if you at work, I want you to call me while you at work. Yeah, I'm her. So but other than that, yeah, that's me. That's why. That is why I've been single for seven years. And I don't think my list and standards are that high. My friends be like, your standards are too high. How? How? It's common, common standards. Like, I don't understand why people don't think that stuff is not common. Like, that is, it's, it's common standards. That's just what it is. I just feel like, you know, it's, I'm not asking you for what, I won't. I wouldn't get you. That just that's what, that's what, everything I just said. I can give you. That's that's what I. And anyway, like I said, I'm all fine with a love language, so you can't go wrong with with not hitting my love language because I'm all fine of them. You know, I I take it all. Like it is what it is with me. But uh, men feel like they have to do the bare minimum. I'm not every chick. You don't have to. You, Bare minimum for me is me just being like, yeah, I be done talking to you in a month. That's just me. Like, <laughs> period. Like, <laughs> like, Martel, I'm not I know you don't care. I don't care about you either. Sure. I, this is about me trying. 
This is about me and why I'm single for seven years. This ain't about you. Don't come on here thinking this is about you. I always try to come on here thinking this is about you. It ain't Martel's world. This is Kiana's world right here. This says talk is cheap with who? Kiana Jack. That's what that says. This is not say talk is cheap with Martel. Whatever your last name is. <laughs> Talk to Chief with Kiana Jack. So leave me alone. Don't come over here trying to take. You always come over here trying to talk stuff to me. So I'm a girl. So I've been single for seven years and, and people want to know why. So that because you already know what. Well, you think you know why I'm single, but you know, y'all, my friends don't be knowing why I'm single. They just see, like, they feel like I don't listen. They say, I don't listen. I listen. That's what they say. I don't, I don't, I don't understand that part. <laughs> Definitely doing the middle. Nigga, your ass, when you get a girlfriend, you do not just do the middle. Shut up. Now, you might do the middle for the little basic ass bitches, but when you get a girlfriend, you do not do the stuff. You get out here just stun. And yes, I'm a girl. You know I'm a girl of this week. Shut up. <laughs> You get on my nerves. So, but, um, uh, doing a bit. What I was saying before he interrupted me. Damn. Oh, he made me lose my train of thought. He get on my goddamn nerves. <laughs> uh, what I was saying, doing a bit minimum is, is not, not the, I'm telling Alexa, I'm not telling her to turn that light back on. Um, is not um, going to get what you want from me. Like I said, you can't go wrong with the um, with the love language, which is because I'm all of them. Um, it's not that bad. Like I said, I give you what you, I expect what you to give me what you expect me to give you. That's just what it is. Like, and I'm, I'm cool as hell. I'm going to say this. I'm a fucking vibe. Like, y'all just don't understand how much it's bad. When my kids ain't mad at me, I, we be bad. Like, uh, baby mad at me today. You still mad? I was never mad. Oh, well, he was never mad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's up, you know, you know. I have that effect on people. You know, I be trying to yell and stuff. You know, everybody got quiet and like they was, you know, like, you know, but I guess not. I'm in a house full of niggas. Yes, just thought, have you ever been a woman living in a house full of niggas? Like dudes, like me. This me. This is my life right now. Like, ain't no other woman in this house but me. <laughs> it is it, it is something else. Like it is something else. <laughs> really something else. I am not lost. I am not lost. I am very, very found. The Lord found me. <laughs> I'm found. You know what? Y'all gonna be shocked. Y'all gonna be shocked one day. My male friends, y'all gonna be shocked when I finally claim somebody <laughs> and say I have a man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna be shocked. Watch what I tell you. Y'all gonna be shocked. Y'all gonna be like, what in the hell? Who? Now, Martel is not invited to the wedding because he already said he gonna stand up and say, no, no. No, bro. This ain't what you do. This is not what you wanna do. But, no, nah, for real, y'all. We are um, single for seven years and counting. It about, it's about to be eight, though. It's about to be AIDS. And, you know, it's crazy because it's like, I'm not mad about it. That's the problem. <laughs> I'm kind of okay with it. I got used to being by myself. That's that's the crazy part. Like, I got used to being by myself. So, it's just like, it's easier for me to be by myself. Like, if I stop talking to somebody, it, it don't bother me at all. Like, <laughs> It really don't like I like I said again like this last um 
a few years, you know, I had feelings for somebody already. So my heart was kind of closed off anyway. But now that I'm getting back in the day scene, giving other people a chance, it's just like, I'm just, I used to be in by myself. Like, really? To tell you the truth, it's just like, yeah, this ain't gonna work. And I just turn over and go to sleep. Like, <laughs> or like, not like they in the bed with me or nothing, but I get off the phone like, yeah, this ain't gonna work. Type shit and keep you moving. <laughs> Type stuff. So. That that's just me now. And when you get you been when you've been by yourself for so long, you get used to being by yourself. And you know, uh and what what made me think like I really need to find get somebody is my son come in there today and was like, I'm so glad you ain't got a boyfriend because everybody putting their kids out for their men. And I said, shit, I get why you gotta go too. I'm not saying single by my i'm not staying single forever he gonna say yes you is like my kids don't even have faith that i'm gonna get a man <laughs> they want me to be single by myself forever <laughs> they so used to be about me by being by myself now it's just to the point of do y'all think hey hey y'all come here come here i'm not getting in the camera no just come here Calvin is somewhere in the show. Do y'all think I'm better? Do y'all think I'm happier? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're way better along. I am. Through the Calvin experience, yes. Through my last experience, yes. yeah. See, that's why I said my last experience, I was mean, but me, see, kids feel like I'm better than myself, you know. And I think. If I was to get somebody now, it'd be a better situation. It's just as it is. I said, do you think I'm better? Am I happier now than I was when I was in a relationship with your dad? I don't know. Yeah. That was just. I don't know. I'm trying to stick up for your daddy now that she's saying something about it. Y'all was just toxic. But I'm asking, do you think I was happier now? Am I happier now than I was then? Yeah. 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 Or was I toxic? Yeah. 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 So it was just the situation I was in. So that's why I don't want to be back in that situation. Another situation like that. So I'm very careful about who I pick or, you know, how I go about picking or, you know, we now the is and now say everything and everybody that's that's why that's why you know because i believe too that i'm more happier now than i was back then so you know it works if you spend time with yourself work on yourself do the work actually look into yourself like you actually have to reminisce about some of the things you did back in the past like damn Yo ass was crazy. <laughs> if I was you, I wouldn't do that again. Hey, Josh. If I was you, I would do that again in the next flesh. <laughs> you gotta fix that psycho shit you got going on up there in the head, girl. But yeah. Uh, being single is not a bad thing. Y'all make it out to be a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Being single is very therapeutic and it helps you open your eyes to a lot of things in the world. People try to make you feel bad because you're single. And that's not true. You don't have to be in a relationship to be happy. You don't have to be tied to someone to be happy. It's okay to be by yourself. Like, hey, I don't know how to say your name. I know how to say the middle part, Joshua. Well, I think you, the, the, the first and last name, <laughs> I have, well, her father being single then when I was in it. Like, yes! Yes, my, Josh, my kids just said, I had my kids just said, my kids just told me I'm more happier now than I was when I was in a relationship. And I, I'm not saying that, that I'm never going to get back in a relationship. I'm just saying, like, I'm not thirsty where I'm just going to settle for any relationship. That's not me. I'm not doing that. So, 
Um, I, I just, I'm taking my time. So seven years is a long time, but I'm taking my time and weeding out because this time I am, I, even though I'm scared to get married, I am preparing myself to date for somebody long term. That's, that's just what it is that I'm be honest. That's what it is. And I'm taking my time and I'm going through, you know, you know what I asked God for. I asked God for he got my list. And, and you know, it's not a hard list. I named the list. <laughs> I ain't laugh my ass out. Kevin was right. I'm going to get my dog and die long. Girl, you ain't going to never be alone with your friends. Your ass going to always get you somebody. I just feel like me. Get anybody too. It's just that I just, I'm, I just, you, the 401k thing is very important to me, you know. Um, <laughs> we both need to have a retirement plan, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just feel like, you know, that's one of the things, you know, that I should have mentioned. Yeah, like. Right. That that thing. Um, jobs. I did the drug dealers. I did the, you know, drug dealers. And I dated. And you know, it even have to be rich. I have that. Yes. You don't have to date um wealthy to be happy. That that's another thing. See that. He that find out the wife trying to just say that their relationship stopped working when one out of the two stopped working for it. Yes, Joshua. Yes. I'm calling you by your name now. I hope I'm not offending you because I can't pronounce your last night. Yes. He that find out a wife find the good thing. I think relationships stop working when one of the two stop working for it. Yes, that is so true. If one person check out What's the point of the relationship? You write about that. You sound like a bond. <laughs> I'm bond talking about. Well, I'm dead ass. Like, <laughs> Josh, I'm dead ass. Like, 401ks, things with jobs, you know, got their life set up for a plan for a long time. Yes. Yes. That's a must. Because you got to understand, like, a lot of us don't have business businesses out here you know what i'm saying a lot of us working jobs and a lot of hard working men out here are looking in the wrong places for women they look at by uh what's going on on tv and stuff like that when it's it's women that's out here that are looking for hard working men you don't have to be wealthy you just have to be a working ambitious and ambitious man and and that's what i'm basically looking for you know what i'm saying i have dated a doctor a white doctor i've dated one you know i have dated drug dealers i have dated um all type of men i have dated in these seven years i've been single <laughs> you know you know, I have, and all of them have issues. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, my thing is, and the crazy part about it, like, I watch us as black women, we'll walk past a man that get on a bus, not knowing he gets on a bus because he don't want to be in traffic with his car, like Chicago. A lot of people take the L train and trains and buses and stuff downtown because ain't no parking. But they live in these suburban houses out here, nice ass houses, but because you see them on the train and the bus, we figure they ain't got shit. You know some of the richest men dress like bums? New balances? Levi jeans? A regular jacket from Walmart. <laughs> you know, I, I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, and uh, a hardworking man don't look 
like they got on Gucci and Louis Vuitton and you know Balenciagas and Cartiers and all that stuff. A hardworking man don't look like that, you know. Some rich men don't look like that. Well, most rich men don't look like that. <laughs> chains and shit most rich men don't look like that so we be looking the wrong way as women we look at the material things instead of looking on the inside uh, i know a girl who actually and i'm not telling y'all to do this because it might not work for y'all but i know a girl who actually took a man that was homeless and fixed him up and he on four businesses now so I'm not saying because that might not work for y'all. She got lucky. <laughs> I see the motherfucker get off the bus and hop right in the biz when I had to drive. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. you we, we met us as women be missing our blessings. <laughs> I'm telling you. Us as women be missing our blessings because we be looking at the material things. And I had to learn that too. Like everything is not materialistic looking. Because a lot of people that's walking around with that looking like that, all their money is what they have on. I'm going to be honest. I, I, and that's why I say I'm not telling you to do that. <laughs> but I said she got lucky. You know what I'm saying? She got lucky, but um, basically just the hardworking men, you know, these hardworking men work hard. And I'm not saying the hardworking men that they whole life is, I just got to work, work, work because I'm not where I'm supposed to be right now. So all I want to do is work, 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 work so I can get to where I want to be. And say you get, you have a level to where you get, get to, you still gonna want more because that's your mentality. You still gonna want more, you gonna always wanna work. I can't deal with somebody that just put they, just all that into that, that, that. What about us? What about us? You can't be in a relationship like that. And that was going on with the guy too that don't get gifts. <laughs> He's talking about, so he just got to work, 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 work till he get to where he want to be because, you know, he, you know, fell off a little bit and he just want to get to where he needs to be because he feel like he ain't where he want to be at his life and he just want to work, 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 work. I'm mad men that, bro, I'm not coming between a man and his money. That's not me because, you know, we need money to survive out here. That's just what it is. I got to work too, but. I, you still have to have a little fun in your life. And I'm a person that don't want to be just bored in a relationship. That's me too. Like if you just want to sit in the house every day, all day and not do nothing, we doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. We get off work, we come home, we shower. How was your day? Fine. How was your day? Fine. I cook dinner, we eat or we order out to eat. Then we sit there and watch TV and then we go to bed. If that's our day every single day, we ain't gonna last. Cause I'm not that person. I'm sorry, I'm not that person. I just I I I, I I'm not her. I'm I'm not her. And I'm not saying we have to do something else, but we gonna have date nights, we gonna have date weekends, we gonna have getaways, we gonna have family visits, we gonna have card games, we gonna have you know, friend day. We don't do things because simple fact is, why would we waste the life that was given to us? You know what I'm saying? That that that's that, that, that why? Why would we do that? Like I'm in a stage of my life like live it till you can't live it no more. Life is short. You know what I'm saying? Are you gonna regret the life that you live? I'm not I'm not regretting the life that was given to me. You know what I'm saying? Every heartache, every pain, every uh, broken heart, every um, child trauma, everything I went through, I I do not, I, well, I regret a little bit of it. I do. But the life that I have now comes from that. Lessons learned from that. You know, uh, I'm a better person from that. So I want to enjoy what I have left. Like I said, I'm 42 years old. God, 
you never know what time God have for me on this earth. So I'm going to enjoy my life and I would love for somebody, my significant other, that somebody who loves me as much as I love them to enjoy it with me. I do want a partner. Now, I don't, you know, I want a partner. I don't need a partner. I want a partner to enjoy life with me. And that's that's what people don't understand. <laughs> you said my man better not never have a card game. You think I don't know how to play a so Bitch, you better learn how to play space. <laughs> you don't know how to play space. Girl, get out of here. So card games are man, card games be lit. Girl, they be lit. Baby lit, they be talking. Men get drunk. Baby, my grandma used to have card games all the time, honey. They used to be lit. We used to, uh, me and my cousin, them on South Side of Chicago, used to serve drinks and stuff. That the ladies used to pay us the money and stuff, you know, as we bring them their little drinks and stuff. You know, it was like little waitresses and shit. It was a fun. It was a little lit. They be, they be in that motherfucker to like damn near six o'clock in the morning. Oh, I don't want to have that fall. I've been feeling like a hey, lesbian going on dates and shit with y'all. Look, and don't get me wrong, friends, you know what I'm saying? I understand like when you friends with, understand when your friend gets a, a spouse or a man, let them have that time with their men because they spend so much time. We spend so much time when you, we single with each other. When we get a man, let us spend some time with that, that man. You know what I'm saying? We probably have to catch you. Can you come out now, bitch? I'm with a man tonight, you know? <laughs> you know? Josh, when you had your man, we understood, you know? Us single bitches understood, you know? You had a man, you had to spend time with him. Yeah, especially in a new relationship, that's all y'all want to do is spend a little time with each other. So, you know, you guys, because, yeah, being with your friends all the time, you can be like, damn, I'm tired of looking at these bitches all the time. God damn, we need some niggas in this group. Yeah. <laughs> and then the thing about it is family and bits. My brother and them never have any fucking friends. My brother and cousins and them never have any freaking friends to bring to the family events for us to even try to even, you know, look at. That'd be the whole, I'd be like, God, dog. Shut up, Josh. <laughs> I'd be like, God, dog. Like, we go to the family events. It, it, it just be family. I don't have no family, and the only thing like that's it. I, my, I have family, but the, it just be family. It be no extra people, no extra. <laughs> so that's be the only thing. But and that's it. But yeah, uh, yeah, single for seven years and counting, almost eight. So I, I hope I answered y'all question. In this video, while I've been single for seven years, uh, being single for seven years do not mean I did not date or did not have sex. That did not mean that. I am grown as hell. I had needs. Well, I had sex in a year, in a month now, but yeah, I wish we have needs. So yeah, I didn't go seven years without dating or having sex, but I did go seven years without committing to a long-term relationship or a relationship. Uh, yes, I did. So, and that's it. Single. Now, so I swear, niggas swear when you say you singles that you celibate, that you ain't out here doing that. They swear it. They, they, that's what they want it to be like. Oh, she out here saying she ain't doing that. That's a goddamn lie. You bitch that told you that, she fucking lying. <laughs> You fucking lying, shit. I ain't been never sit up here a lot of y'all say, oh, oh, um, I'm out here uh single, ain't did nothing in seven years. Nah, that's a whole ball face lie. And I, I wanna motherfucking call me out on that shit. Call me out. I know a lot of y'all face like that. But uh <laughs> everybody got a little yeah, 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 yeah. A little yeah, yeah. I'll be glad when I jump back into that. Yeah, yeah, I need some. Yeah, yeah. 
Somebody told me if I don't use my yeah, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to stop working. I'm like, how is that possible? <laughs> how is it going to stop working? <laughs> put that coochie to work, girl. I ain't found nobody to put it to work on, but I'm going to see you. I, yeah, I'm going to see you. I'm going to get it together. I'm going to get it together. I, you know, I'm going to get out here and get it, get, get, put this twang on somebody. Put it on somebody. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to see. But I have to go, y'all. It's been two hours, so, you know, only time for Lexus came in. If you missed the video, just go back and watch it. It will be posted. Um, next week, I think I will have a guest. I'm actually putting the work to find a guest. Y'all know it's so dealing with guests. If they're not my friends, like close friends, I hate dealing with them because, oh my God, it's a pain in the ass. Y'all just don't understand. That's why I said I'll be having to go back to my original shit of me being by myself on this motherfucker because the, I just, I just dread it. But I get y'all guests next week. But y'all don't really need one because I'm all you need. Now all I need to get back. It's a song for everything, girl. <laughs> well, thank y'all for listening in to another episode of Talk to you with Kiana J. I am your host, Kiana J. And I would love talking to you guys. Thank y'all for the support and tuning me into another episode. Uh, I got one more comment before I close out. Hello. Love you, Josh. If nobody told y'all today, I'm going to tell you. <laughs>